Harp, I think we would have thought it was impossible a year ago that first base going into next season would even be a conversation. Dom Smith made it that. Uh, was his ascension on the field the biggest development for any of the New York baseball teams in 2020? I'm going to say no, Doug, only because, uh, you know, you could, he, he took it to a new level, but you could see it coming in 2019. And I'm going to say uh, there were no real big surprises for the Yankees in that way. But for the Mets, to me, uh, David Peterson, he's a guy kind, kind of, I know he was a first round pick, but if you, you, you didn't hear much about him. Scouts didn't see him as the kind of pitcher he looked like when he came up, uh, pitch for the Mets. And the Mets need pitching, starting pitching so bad that I would say that's the, uh, the biggest development uh, in New York last year. I think Dom Smith is the story when it comes to the biggest ascension of the New York athlete. And at the end of 2019, Harp's right. You saw signs of how good this kid could be. But Alonzo was at first base, crowded outfield. How's he going to get playing time? Injuries happen. And when Dom Smith stepped to the plate, he made the most of every single opportunity. And all the hype you had heard about him years before suddenly came out and you saw how good this guy can be. Think about it. We're talking about him splitting time with Alonzo, who was the MVP of the team two years ago. Very impressive. Stayed with it. Good guy. I think he's the best story of last year. And I look forward to see what he's going to do this year. I agree with John that he's the best story from last year. I loved I loved Dom as a person, you know, when I got to know him a little bit in the organization and, and obviously getting to see what he did, not just this year, but last year as well, 19, uh, playing in part-time role. Some people might say, well, sample size. Well, guess what? When you're playing part-time, uh, the full season, that's really hard to keep up those numbers like he did. I knew if he got the opportunity to play more often, he would be able to put up a, a year like this. So I'm not, I'm not surprised by that. It's not, you know, to me, that's not the biggest development per se. I would go, I would lend towards Peterson. Uh, you know, if you want to even go off the field, I might talk about Stroman opting out and that, how that, you know, kind of hurt the Mets. That would be a negative. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to go with this. But Dom's a great person, and, and I love what he's been able to do. Yeah, what Dom Smith was able to deal with in, in 2019. 19 as a bench player playing left field out of position, succeeding in that role going into 2020, having the year that he did so impressive.